Here are some of the biggest and most expensive things ever built. Just wait until you hear about the most expensive project ever, number nine, Jeddah Tower. Jeddah Tower was previously known as the Kingdom Tower. It's competing to own the title as the world's tallest skyscraper. When it's finished, it'll beat Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa by 236 feet. The tower is planned to be completed by the end of 2020, although the COVID pandemic may cause some delay. The tower is designed to be at least 3,280 feet high. That's at the length of nine football fields. The exact height is a secret until it's finished something that's customary for the buildings aiming to be the tallest in the world. The cost for the construction is estimated at $1.4 billion. What's going to be the main hotel at Jeddah Tower? That'll be the Four Seasons Hotel, as well as the residence. The building will have a whopping 59 elevators, but it's not a surprise for a building this big. What's more impressive is that these elevators can take visitors up at a speed of up to 22 miles per hour. And no, they don't design the elevators faster or else the rapid change in air pressure could cause nausea. Number 8. Antonov AN-225 Maria Cargo Plane This plane is THE heaviest plane ever used. The designation of largest airplane is difficult to use because there are planes that are wider, such as the Strata Launch, and there are planes that have been longer, such as the Caspian Sea Monster. This plane wasn't meant to carry passengers just like its name suggests. It can carry up to a whopping 280 tons of internal cargo. This plane holds the world record for heaviest load ever flown. The official order to develop the plane came from the Soviet Ministry of Defense. The plane was named Maria, which means dream in Ukrainian. During the pandemic, this plane has been extremely important in flying huge amounts of medical supplies all over the world. This plane delivered medical supplies from China to other countries all over the world. Of course, this plane isn't important just during a pandemic, but also to many disasters where help is needed. This plane is capable of transporting objects once thought impossible to move by air, such as 150-ton generators. It's become a giant asset to international relief organizations for its ability to quickly transport huge amounts of emergency supplies during disaster relief operations. This plane is so big, trains can be loaded at the front end through the opening of the plane's nose. For example, the groundbreaking frictionless maglev train was flown from Germany to China. Number 7. New Century Global Center We've seen the world's biggest tower in terms of height. How about the world's largest building in terms of floor space? One of the highlights of the city of Chengdu in central China is the New Century Global Center. The height isn't all that impressive at 325 feet, but the overall space it takes up is. The building is a whopping 18 million square feet. To imagine how big of a space that is, imagine housing 20 Sydney Opera Houses in one place, and the Sydney Opera House is already huge. This building beats the previous title holder of floor space, Terminal 3 of the Dubai International Airport, by half a million square feet. This global center hosts the usual office space, hotels, and obviously shopping malls. But the most interesting attraction is the water park. Residents of Chengdu probably never imagined that they would one day go to the beach in their city. Chengdu is over a thousand miles from the coast, but thanks to the New Century Global Center, they don't need to go far for the beach. Who needs Thailand? This 54,000 square feet of artificial beach is called Paradise Island, and it has the biggest artificial waves in the world. The craziest part? There are giant screens to show sunrises and sunsets. Number six. Bagger 288. When this machine first came out back in 1978, it was the world's heaviest land vehicle. Coal mining is still widely used to generate electricity, and coal miners have to use big, expensive machines to shovel earth so that coal can be extracted. And this $100 million machine was designed exactly to do just that. It's one of the heaviest land vehicles in the world and it's called the Bagger 288. Its weight is a whopping 13,500 tons. That's heavier than 8,600 cars combined. But because of the large surface area of its 12 crawlers, it really doesn't leave prints deeper than the average human footprint. To give you an idea of how big this thing is, the Bagger 288 is 705 feet long. That's a little bigger than two football fields. It's 315 feet tall and that's taller than the Statue of Liberty. Of course, there needs to be powerful motors in this machine to be able to move this amount of earth on a daily basis. The horsepower it has is equivalent to around 160 cars. Number five, NASA Crawler. 
The world's largest land vehicle is designed to move rockets and spacecraft from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building to the launch pad and anywhere in between. And NASA built not just one crawler, but two. The NASA crawler weighs approximately 6.6 .6 million pounds. That's the weight of around 15 Statues of Liberties combined. Originally, two crawlers were built, with each one costing $14 million. That's actually kind of a bargain if you think about how big these things are. The crawlers can hold up to 9,000 tons. That's roughly equivalent to a whopping 20 fully loaded commercial airplanes. The crawlers carry the rockets and shuttles on a journey of a little more than four miles from the NASA assembly building all the way to the launch pad. It takes a highly trained crew of 11 people to drive the crawler and the crawlers are appropriately named. The crawlers move at one mile per hour when loaded and two miles per hour when unloaded. These machines are pretty old as they were built in 1965 to carry the 12 million pound Saturn V rocket that took astronauts to the moon. But just because they're old, it doesn't mean NASA won't use them anymore. They're expected to be used for another 50 years. Number four, crane vessel. Lifting heavy objects overseas is what crane vessels do. The world's largest offshore crane vessel is used for offshore construction, which is all about installing structures and facilities in marine. And Singapore's Semcor Marine built the world's largest crane vessel. Basically, it'll be used for setting up and decommissioning offshore oil and gas rigs. How much did this huge crane cost? Just one and a half billion dollars. It's equipped with two cranes that can reach a height of over 720 feet in the air. That's taller than the top of Singapore's iconic boat-shaped Marina Bay Sands Hotel. The cranes have a combined lifting capacity of 20,000 tons, which is another industry record. This crane vessel is called Sleepnir. It was named after Norse god Odin's eight-legged stallion, something we're gonna say makes a lot of sense. The vessel has accommodations for 400 people and it also includes a helicopter pad and a swimming pool. Number three, CERN Particle Accelerator. The largest particle accelerator in the world is called the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC for short. The LHC is one of the most expensive scientific instruments ever built and the particles here are atoms. We'll give you the short story here. Physicists want to study what happens when these atoms smash together, so they invented machines that collide atoms at a very high speed. Scientists want to get two high energy particle beams to travel at the speed of light before they collide, so they gotta move in opposite directions. How do you get particles to the speed of light? Easy. You just need 1,624 magnets. 1,232 of them are dipole magnets to bend the beams. Then the rest are quadrupole magnets to focus the beams. Once they are close to colliding, another magnet squeezes the particles to increase the chance of collision. It's not that easy getting those particles to collide. Imagine two people miles apart trying to throw tiny arrows at each other and trying to get the arrows to hit. These superconducting magnets are a ring that's 16.6 .6 miles around. The magnets are chilled to be negative 271.3 degrees Celsius, which is colder than outer space. This helps create 1 billion collisions per second. So what's the big deal with colliding atoms together in the LHC? Well, it's basically helping physicians understand more about the laws of physics by doing more and more collisions. Different particle accelerators do different jobs. The one in Paris near the Louvre Museum is used for culture preservation, basically research on protecting the food we buy in grocery stores. Another type of accelerator called linear accelerators are used by hospitals to defeat cancer. Proton therapy directs a beam right at the patient's tumor. It only fires at that tumor so other healthy cells aren't damaged. This therapy was developed from the research done with accelerators. Just how much was budgeted for the LHC? Roughly $9 billion and counting. Number two, Symphony of the Seas. This cruise ship measures at a little over a whopping 1,184 feet long, and it's the largest cruise ship in the world by weight. She's able to accommodate up to a maximum capacity of 6,680 passengers, as well as a 2,200 person crew. Yeah, right now it's not that during the middle of a pandemic. The Symphony of the Seas is home to the tallest water slide at sea, the fastest internet on the ocean, and more works of art than the Louvre has paintings. It's really a floating island with how big this ship is. There are 16 decks for guests to use, 22 restaurants, four pools, and 2,759 cabins. Then there's the kids' water park, a full-size basketball court, and an ice skating rink. There's also a zip line that's 10 decks high. And we're done. There's a 1,400-seat movie theater, 
an outdoor aquatic theater with Olympic height platforms and two 43 foot high rock climbing walls. They definitely don't want people to get bored on this ship. There are also robotic bartenders on this huge ship. They're at the Bionic Bar, which is also on Royal Caribbean's three other Oasis class mega ships. Made by Italian firm Maker Shaker, these mechanical mixologists can muddle, shake, strain, and serve cocktails just like any real bartender. Number 1. International Space Station The International Space Station isn't really all that big. It's only the size of a football field. But it's literally the most expensive project ever taken on. The running cost is quickly approaching $200 billion, and it's involved over 100,000 people in 15 nations. Here's what's next. 